I am W and this is my world and today is story time Sunday. It's when I have a story that's in my head and I bring it out to y'all. Now I was conflicted with doing a series again, you know, something like Mercenary or Rage. I said, or stick to doing short stories like the Halloween editions I've been doing. So somebody said, how about us do both? Why not? So I combined it, a series of short stories. It's no, I'm gonna call it the black box series. And y'all understand what I mean after this story. This story I'm about to tell today is called The School Teacher. Okay, so Miss Emblem uh, was a school teacher of her own private school. You know, she bought the building, she got the permits, and she only teach um, kindergartners. You know, the terrible twos and threes, you know. So she decided, you know, she just wanted to teach kindergarten and kindergartners, I'm sorry, and have this big school to just focus on them. You know, they got a playground. She has lots of activities for them to do. And she comes from a small town. So everybody trusts her. You know, here, you know, here's my kids, you know, go ahead, take care of my kids. You know, all well and good. So every day, you know, she'll teach the class. She'll have these three particular students that was just horrible kids. Like, you know, they will, you know, beat up other kids, start fights, you know, hit this teacher from time to time, fling things around. Like, these kids had no type of home training whatsoever. And, you know, every day, you know, she just, you know, she's patient with them. She'd say, you know, sit down, Billy. Tommy, stop it. Please don't push Christy down. You know, she got a real timid soul. So, you know, she's good with kids. One day, while the kids outside on the playground, this man with a giant black trench coat, a black hat, with a suitcase, came up to the school. And she's like, um, do you have a new student to drop off or anything like that or any student to pick up? I haven't seen you around town and I haven't even seen you around at all. What's your name? He said, my name is not of importance. I come to bear a gift. He said, I have a box right here that only you can open. And within this box, your true self um, will come out. It will give you more confidence and you will do the things you always desire. She said, I'm calling the police if you don't leave. He put the box on the bench that was outside, why, no, why that was outside with Nile. She would sit on the bench, put the box on the bench, and he walked off. He said, this is your box and no one else's. I've chosen you to open the box. Do with it as you will. So at this school, she went down to the police department and she told the, the police of who dropped off this box. You know, he said, well, we haven't heard of that man around. No one sent the reports and whatnot. So, the police officers you know they open the box and there's nothing in the box or anything like that. They ran tests. There were nothing poisonous within the box at all. He said, ma'am, it's just a box. So he closes the box and he gave it to the woman. He said, nothing's wrong with it at all. He said, you know, you can choose either throw it away or keep it. It's up to you. So she takes the box home. She looks at the box and the box had like strange markings. It was like wavy lines and whatnot. And she was like, I'll just deal with this tomorrow morning. She goes to bed, she wakes up and the box is gone. She said, that's strange. So she goes to school, knows people drop off the students and whatnot again. And this time those three students were just acting a complete mess. You no, know, they're going off, they're tearing up the school, they're ripping down pictures that the kids had, that had drawn and she had hung it up. You know, all, some students had to go to the nurse's office because these three students are just terrorizing everything. And it was nap time, so the kids were laying down asleep. And today, the kids had gotten to a real bad. The three students had gotten to a real bad. She's frustrated, she's angry, and she's ready just to go off. And she looks over at her desk, and the, block, the black box is there. So she looks at the box, she picks it up, and when she opens the box, a demonic soul came out and went inside her mouth. 
and she drops down to her knees and she she's just like this she's just in a trance and the, the demon inside her head was like you always desire to hurt these kids i will give you the strength to do so and the demon gets out of her body and goes back into the box she stands up walks over to um this fire extinguisher case. It has an axe and it has a fire extinguisher. And when you hit it, you no, know, the alarm goes off, the fire department shows up. She she breaks open the um the she breaks the glass and she grabs the axe. The alarm's going off, whatnot. Some kids are waking up and they look over and see the teacher walking over to the three kids that's been causing a mess all day. She had an ex, and when the kid, when the three kids were slowly starting to get up because they heard their alarms, she just brings the ax on top of them and just starts. She chopped off three of the boys' heads. Uh, uh, uh. And the students start going crazy and they're screaming at the top of their lungs. It was like, Miss Emblem, what are you doing? Miss Emblem, what are you doing? She turns around. And she said, Get out. I'm going to set this place on fire. We all are going to die if you don't leave. So all the students just running out. And when she came, she uh she grabbed a match um that was in her pocket, though she smoked cigarettes, and she lit she lights one and she said, fuck this school. I can't stand kids no way. And burns the whole school down. The police, the police department showed up and she was just sit uh, she was on her knees in front of the building while the building's on flames. And the officer was like, get down, Miss Emblem, get down. He said, what happened? She said, something I always want to do. She looks at the, over at the officer. Her eyes are gouged out. And he looked down her fingertips and her own fingers were bleeding because she gouged her own eyes out. She said, I can't stand the sight of kids. After the flames die down and whatnot, and you know, she's been convicted of murder and, and so, so forth and whatnot, the dude with the suitcase returns to the school and picks up the black box, puts it in his suitcase, and he leaves town. And he says, on to the next victim. And that's it. If you like the story, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you hate the fact that kids are die, give it a thumbs down. I'm sorry if I offended you. If I did, kind of don't care. Um, so I am W, this is my world, and we turn back with some more strange tales.